uh, fairly typical. It just seemed to hit us a little bit harder than, than usual. They're dealing with a little bit of everything in Dayton Independent Schools, from flu-like symptoms to a stomach bug. Kids and teachers have had a rough week. They try to get on top of it quickly thanks to their in-school medical clinic. The, the appointment's made. They're seeing a nurse practitioner. They're diagnosed and they're sent out of here to try to keep it from spreading. But it still spread. Monday started off with a normal number of absences, but nearly 30% of students were ill by the end of the day Tuesday. The solution? Take a couple days off. On a day like today with lots of sunshine and temperatures in the mid 50s in February, kids might have had outside recess here in Dayton. Instead, the healthy ones who are at home might be playing outside while their classmates recuperate. While the schools are shut down, they're also being cleaned up. It's a simple disinfection. Uh, it's what same thing you do at your house when your child goes to the doctor. You know, you get in there to the bathrooms and the rooms that they're in and spray a little Lysol, wipe it down. Today, tomorrow and Friday, Dayton schools will be closed, hopefully giving the germs enough time to run their course. But really, we're just trying to get the kids away from each other to break that cycle yeah. uh, of, of illness and get everyone healthy. Back to school and hopefully back to normal on Monday. From Dayton, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5.